Okay, I'm going to show you my perennial garden. First, I'm going to throw these in the compost. Oh, and the squirrel is going to be out there somewhere where I threw him. I wonder where he is. Oh well. Okay, so here's... This is the most awesome bush. But it grows 14 feet square. Now I tied it up so I can have a pathway through here. But I kind of want to let it down. Okay, so anyway. I've been digging around these. I had a bush to plant. It was a dead bush. It is called, let's see if we can turn this around and read it. First now I have to find it. There it is. And it is Gold Drop Potentia. Oops. I cut it all back. It was all, it was big and dead and got thrown out. I put it in there. And see, we have a maple tree, a volunteer maple. And over on this side, I have a cedar that I moved from the roadside. I want this to be woods one day. And then um, there's a there's a um, purple iris. I don't know what these are, but I planted them there. And there is a rather poorly looking sedum. And those also look rather poorly now that I have weeded around them. I forget what they are called. And this is a spirea. See, once upon a time I had a spirea bush right there. And I lay the branches, the bottom branches, I laid them on the ground. And they rooted, so I t dug them up. I put one here, and I put one here, somewhere, and I put one here, and I put one here. So that's how many, one, two, three, four, okay, and let's see if I put any more. Four. Now you see I've now dug this all up. Doesn't that look nice? And this I have, I had a rose bush that has babies all the time and so I put a few in there. And now it's got millions of babies so I guess I should move some. But I, I need to weed around in this one. But it's got that pip, that uh, landscape fabric down which keeps the plant the stuff from growing back up. I think I'll put landscape fabric around this one now too. And this is another bed. I don't know what those are called. Some kind of a cornflower. Never been able to find it in the book. And there's also here's another one on this and this I call bladder what is it, bladderwort? I don't know. And there's a sedum there and a balsam, no, a, a spruce, cornflower. And that's that other one of those. So you see this garden bed here has really kind of grown up. It's not looking very good. So I shall attack it next. I also did this one, this is a peony. This bit over here needs lots of help. Well, you know, this whole place needs lots of help. It's just really looking bad. I was going to count all those spireas. There was four. Let's see where I put another one. That's already counted. I just have beautiful flowers here. Probably still do if I were to get underneath all this stuff. Five. Five spireas. I tried to plant thyme down here to 
put my my pathway out of time. And it seems to have worked pretty well, somewhat, sort of. So there's five, here's another one, six. Well, that's interesting. What in the world are they? Huh, I guess I gotta do something about that. What are they? So Heliopsis? Oh, I mean, on the opposite. Anyway, so this is number five, was it? Or six? Yeah, there were four up there, and then there's that one. And this one, so I guess that's six of them. Some of these beds have not been dug around for so long that it's hard to even tell where the beds are. This is Willems. I'll show you this in another one.